play to potential. Nugget. And there's a lot of discussion on the greatest player ever, and a lot of people, including me, believe Federer could be one of them. But what's your view on the greatest tennis coach ever? Who would you put? Who would be the two or three contenders for that title if there were such a title? Well, I think it's hard to. That's a hard one to pick because each person, uh, if you're looking at results strictly by results, then you're going to have to go with certain people who've had results in that particular area, right? Guys, one x, you know, my pupil won x number of Grand Slams, or my sure. pupil won x number of tour titles, men or women, and so on and so forth. Or the person with the most number of kids in his academy, or uh, that's a. I think that's very relative mm. because. Uh, the greatest tennis coach ever is it someone who actually created a Pete Sampras, someone who actually created a Federer or a Borg, and then did nothing for the rest of their life after that. So, it's, I guess the the metric is uh... yes. It depends on how you look at it, and uh, I do believe there have been great uh, coaches at the highest level. You know, whether Tony Nadal. Uh, is one that comes to mind because he grew grew up with Rafa, but you also have the Bolletteris of the world. You have the Chris Everts. You have Bob Brett. You have uh, Ion Tiriak. You have so many people who created great people by just picking them. Tiriak picked Boris Becker when he was seventeen or sixteen, sixteen years old. And he has, as a matter of fact, in Rotterdam one year at seventeen years of age in March that year he, in eighty. Um, in 85, he asked me to play doubles with Becker. And uh, I said, you want me to play with some 17-year-old kid? And, and he said, uh, well, I want you to play with him because I think, I think he's going to be terrific. So I did. I ended up playing with him and we got to the final wow. that year of the Rotterdam tournament. And uh, I kept telling him, boom, boom, because that's the way he struck the ball. It was one boom and then a second boom. <laughs> and if they came back, he was very upset, so he hit it harder. And of course, two months later, he won Wimbledon for the first time. So Tiriak saw that. Thereafter, he coached Goran Ivanisevic. And Tiriak saw that. So That's he, much about spotting potential, spot, I guess. Yes, but he's spotting potential at a very high level. Mm. Like picking a Rayonich and saying, oh, I think I can make Rayonich a winner of a major, major event. So, but that's speaking amongst the very top of the cherry pie, you know. That's true. So it, it's hard to, but I think you have a whole slew of coaches across the board.